What about churches in Monrovia? The oldest church in Monrovia is the Baptist Church, which was founded in Duarte in 1881. And that church was attended by members of the Monroe family. I think I've also read that it was attended by Lucky Baldwin's wife. I think it was maybe Viola Norman who commented, or someone from that era commented on Mrs. Baldwin arriving with, with one of her thoroughbred steeds and kind of outclassed the, the modes of transportation of the other parishioners. Anyway, when Monrovia started, the townsite committee invited the Baptists to move, relocate to Monrovia, and I believe I've read that they gave them a, promised them a cash contribution as well as a gift of at least probably two lots, one or two lots. So they chose to relocate. And their first church building was at the southwest corner of Canyon and Holly. The Methodists organized in 1886 and started construction. Their first church building was on the northwest corner of Primrose at Olive. That was a, a larger structure supported by General Pyle, among others. At a corner tower, several, well, at least one balcony, possibly two balconies. My grandmother remembered attending that church as a young girl. And the thing that she remembered most vividly was the fresco work on the interior of the church. And that's alluded to in the transcript. Now, did I write down the exact subjects of the frescoes? I think she told me that the east wall of the church had a beautiful fresco of a sunrise. And maybe the south wall had Bowers of Roses, something like that. Anyway, artistically, they were quite refined, and they left a lasting impression on my grandmother's memory. There was a holiness band organized in 1887, and they built a small church on South Ivy. And then the Congregational Church also organized in 1887. And they built a little chapel on South Canyon. I don't know how long the Holiness Church lasted. It was just, it was a small structure. The Congregational Church was somewhat larger, not as large as the, the, either the Baptist or the Presbyterian, but it was a lo one large room for services. The Congregational Church was without a minister for several years. Finally, they accepted an invitation from the local Presbyterian Church to merge their congregations. So their former church building was abandoned, housed, uh, I think at least one or possibly two other denominations. And when I was a youngster, the city of the adult education of the city of Monrovia, or no, adult education Monrovia Unified School District, used it to conduct adult education classes, and then later on it became the Girl Scout House. Probably torn down 60s. Not a lot, as they say, not a large building. The Legacy Project has pictures of both the exterior, the facade of the building and the interior. Presbyterians were the next organized in May of 1888. They had the misfortune of organizing on the eve of the collapse of the land boom. So they were not able to build a church structure initially. It took them about 10 years to get together the resources to build their church, first church building, which is on the southeast corner of Lyme 
and Myrtle. Dedicated, I think, probably 1898. So not quite 10 years afterwards. What they did, they rented storerooms in various locations and met there until they could actually build their own church. St. Luke's Episcopal Church was organized in 1890. Services began in 1891. They had the same problem in terms of the lack of financial resources because of the collapse of the land boom. So they rented a storefront on Myrtle Avenue and had set that up for church services. Catholic Church Mass was offered from uh, St. Tom, no, St. Andrews in Pasadena. And finally in 1903, I think they started services on a fairly regular basis in Monrovia and the Bradbury family gave the land for church building and probably a large contribution towards its construction on South Shamrock at Royal Oaks. And that was as a memorial to their mother, Simona Martinez Bradbury. The first Christian church organized about 1905. They were able to build a small structure at Palm and Primrose, lovingly referred to as the Little Brown Church replaced in the 20s with the present building that's on that corner, although the Christian church no longer uses it as a church building. I'm not even sure that that congregation still exists. They may have merged with another congregation. They dwindled in size over the years. I think they may have either disbanded entirely or merged with another Christian church congregation. The Christian Science Church organized early not have a building probably until the teens. Build a new building. Well, actually moved into a new structure. Foothill in Alta Vista. And then within the recent past, sold that. I believe they're probably meeting either in a rented building or possibly even merged with another congregation. Many other smaller denominations, not the mainline, not denominations, but smaller, also organized and had churches. Presbyterian Church outgrew its facility. About 1910, they drew up, had plans drawn for a new building, Cornerstone dates from 1911. They moved into their present building in 1912. Original building was added onto in 1923, added onto the west. So it's probably Monrovia's largest church plant now. Baptist Church, again, outgrew their original building, moved to Palm and Encinitas. I think the date on their cornerstone is 1912. They moved into their building shortly after that. St. Luke's was finally build, able to build their own church structure in 1907. That was outgrown in the early 1920s, so they moved, picked up the original church building and parish house and moved them to the corner of California and Wild Rose in 1923 built the present church in 1925. Mentioned the Christian church, I think. They built that in two stages. I believe they built the, the basement first, covered it over, worshiped in that space, and then as they were able, they added the second street, main floor to the church sanctuary. Second Baptist, dates their organization or their founding to 1902. I believe they probably met in individual members' homes initially. 
they were formally organized in 1906 by the Reverend Alan Allensworth. Their first church building was probably about 1914, although they may have worshipped in a smaller building first. But they were able to obtain a donation from the First Baptist Church of Monrovia to assist them with their construction, their building fund. They may have even received donations of lumber. The original building was on Royal Oaks. About 530 would be my guess on the address. The second church building, their second church building, I believe was moved to their present location on South Shamrock. And in the 1940s was either greatly remodeled or torn down entirely and replaced by the building that's there now. Shiloh AME Zion started in Bennettsville, South Carolina, was reformed probably on Rancho Santa Anita in 1886, and then as members of that group gradually moved to Monrovia, relocated to Monrovia, they built their first, well, they moved their first structure, church structure to several lots donated by John Adams of Canyon and Huntington Drive. And then in 1915, largely through the efforts of Caddy Morris, they were able to build their present church structure on the same side as the original building, which was is still on the location on the campus, but was moved further west and is now behind the 1915 church structure. They have a parsonage on the same property. I was trying to document its history. And finally did discover it was built on Huntington Drive. And then I think probably when Huntington Drive was widened in the late 1920s, it was moved around so to face on Canyon, so it's now immediately north of the church building on South Canyon. Probably in the 20s or 30s. 